I'm getting ready to interview two of the pre-tournament favorites. Of course, that's pre-tournament like before the first shots hit. <laughs> Mike, I'd like your comments on what you think we're in store for today. Well, I just hope the course doesn't come out and bite us like it does Andy. And, uh, <laughs> as long as we can keep that away from us, right. I'm looking forward to Mitch it. Mitchell's been practicing real hard this year, all spring, getting ready for the tournament. Yeah, I've got my... Practice this year. Okay, boys. Well, let's, let's go to it. My boy Andy should be here momentarily. Waiting for the rain. It is bright and early. The dew sweepers have a ribbon. Okay, folks, here we are after the front nine. It's been an absolutely gorgeous morning. My main man, Andy, ran into two consecutive double bogeys but still came back to shoot at 40, which is five over on the front side, which is outstanding considered, considering the physical shape he was in after the fourth hole. Would you like for me to make a comment? Yes, sir. Well, going into this tournament, Right before I teed off, I had a gut feeling that I was going to win it. But after the first nine holes, I've changed my mind. Oh, right. I don't really feel like that I'm doing so well. You're sliding a little bit. Somebody stabbed me in the neck with a knife. Mitchell, what did you shoot? Well, the short running 38. Thir 38, and Mitchell just threw a three iron up on number nine, which is a long par three, hit it within two feet, and was lucky to get down with a two putt. <laughs> I believe his putting skills left him on that hole. Where's Mr. Mike Thompson at? Uh, Mike said to tell you that he didn't feel like giving you an interview right now. But... Okay. Well, we'll, ca we'll catch him when we get through on the back side. What did Mike shoot? I've got him for a 41 on that side. 41. 41. He ran into a little triple on a par 5. And let's, why don't we get an interview from the interviewer while we're at it? Hold it like that. Hold it on. And into the picture comes Mr. Chuck Tyson. Into the picture. Leading the tournament at this time, probably. I think he had a light run in 36 on that side. Is that correct? 36 on the front side. Tell us a little bit, Here's Mr. Tyson. Aftermath. Tell us a little bit. This is the aftermath. Oh, and there comes Mike. This is what He's decided that now he is going to give us an interview. I I believe they're going to need cleaning. Uh, Mr. Tyson, tell us right quick like your feelings about the front nine. Well, I thoroughly enjoyed playing with my regular foursome. Yes. It's been a beautiful morning. The course is in excellent shape, and I don't see why with all four can't shoot. Excellent golf on the good. back side. Well, go get, go get them, Mr. Tyson. Then we're definitely going to party down. Well, good. Go all get them, right. Mr. Tyson. How about you, uh, Mr. Thompson? I Would you like to make a comment? comment? No, no comment. comment. Thank you. <laughs> Let me go comb my hair. <laughs> I mean, got to get these ladies on camera. Take a shower. <laughs> got three good-looking score-keeping ladies here. Yes. Yeah. Must like to have her. Yeah. Got to hang in there with the boys. Market. We need. <laughs> we need some Newburn golfers up there. Mean, we do. Yeah. You got one up there. You just posted it. Well, Mike, tell us how it was on the back side. It was a long day. Did you put... <laughs> Beautiful course, though. Of <laughs> course is in excellent shape. It is. Good score, Chuck. Well, thank you, Bonnie. Beautiful. Round one is history. Go back with the worst that you're looking at. 
Folks, we have here with us Bobby Scat, brother of the famous Pete Scat. Bobby has the distinction of having led this tournament the first round about 10 or 15 years ago. 20. Was it? It might have been 20 years ago. Well, let's see that putting. Let's see that putting stroke. Well, you got a memory. I never forget a thing. Yeah, they, they're not slow, I'll tell you that. A little easier than that, Bob. Yes, I do. No, no way. Okay. You got me? I think I got enough. There you go. Where'd the dog doctor go? Folks, and his name is, uh, it's the one and only, the man whose fame precedes him. How's Ruthie doing? Doing great, Andy. She's got a great job. She's, another, she's actually in the golf business. It's not yeah, well, that's what I understand. She runs that pro shop. It's not, does a bind for him. Does bind, runs the pro shop, handles the conventions. Uh, just what, what, doing great. Shit. Got him working in that? Yeah, he's working over well, I hope he ain't out here helping me find y'all. Oh, okay. Folks, here's an all-around athlete here. <laughs> Mr. Tyson? Yeah, they are. They're pretty fast. Fluid drive. Yeah, I'm going to 
Folks, this is last year's defending champion. 1985 Newburn Invitational Champion. George, you'd like to hear about your round today. What did you shoot? It was a disaster. Hello, Tell me, what did you shoot? Ain't answer the question. I don't answer the well, question. But how did the Cuban play? Cuban shot 80-something. Well, how, how, how did good. Bill Padone play? Didn't anybody play good. Well, what do you attribute that to? Was it the conditions? or <laughs> the, the is, is the weather too uh, yeah, the weather. hard to play in? <laughs> <laughs> is that Jim Brill, the assistant pro's one? Yeah. TV yeah, she, she's good on TV too. Good, good. She's a good sports man. She can shoot the basketball, buddy, I'll tell you. Man. She plays all too. Rusty cut shoes. Who is this boy here? I don't know if you're, well, you're taking the golf or you're taking the answer. Is it on? Folks, you just heard from Andy Thompson. <laughs> that was not Chuck Tyson yeah. speaking. <laughs> Chuck's trying to cover it and say if it was him. <laughs> Good swing. Good swing. Hit it high enough, didn't Here's, some here's, a, here's a smooth swing here. Her stance is better than This guy can play, he'll play till he's 90. Bill, how was it playing with George Jr. and the Cuban and Bobby Cotton? They inspire you on, don't they? We look for balls all day. Hop right into pitching. Hey, Clyde. Big ass, big ass fan. Yeah. My grandparents. Clyde, how'd you play today? Clyde, tell us all about it. <laughs> Y'all looking good. There comes Miss Laura King Tyson coming outside to see what that water sprinkler's doing. Laura, come on out. Hey, Laura. Hey there, folks. Tell her, tell her to jump out of that big car and come on in. Vicky, this is my aunt Nina. Hi. Vicky Rice. Nice to meet you. Hey, Laura. What do you think of that new baby? Laura likes her brother. She likes that water sprinkler better, though. Those boy, that little boy is behaving inside. Oh, he's doing pretty good. Is he behaving? Yeah, pretty good. Is he behaving? How is Miss Laura doing? Is she behaving? Yes. There she comes. She's going fast. Laura. Little Laura.
Bird with five fouls, Parrish with five, Ainge with five.